There's nothing worse than dashing about before you before you get ready to do something. So you got your license, which was yeah. checked, which is lovely. It's not too bad a picture. Not as bad as mine. Oh, it's awful. So I see that you've logged onto the portal and been doing some of your theory stuff. I tried to, but my laptop broke off. Oh no. The um Um I tell you what we could perhaps do if it would be useful to you. After we've done the lesson. We could go back to the office and you could use the PC there for a while. Yeah. And then after you've done a bit, I can give you a lift home after that. Yeah. Would that work for you? Yeah. I wouldn't kind of factor that in. Mm. So it would be nice if we can um, if we can get the theory out of the way, because that means we can well, we can get a practical test. And I mean, I know it's, we haven't started yet, but mm. it's nice to have the test data to work to, because we can always move it. You know, we can always, always shift the thing around. So have you got a plan together for today? Yeah. Uh, no, I've been looking at... Um, I haven't had a chance to write out down that. Okay. I've been really poorly, believe it or not. Yeah? I really have. You're not going to give it to me, are you? No, no. I'm, all, I'm kind of all right now. OK, cool. <laughs> um, I haven't wrote it down. As long as you've got a clear idea I, I, did, I did talk to my dad about it. OK. My dad helped me a bit. So what would you say a, a reasonable plan would be to do? Focus on that with stopping and starting and then okay. the safety's of OK. Right. Well, it's, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll run through all of that. There's, um, now, in terms of where we do that, what sort of area do you think we might need for that? A quiet road for me. Okay. Now, there's, well, there's a couple of places we can, that I normally use. Can you think of any more? Are you happy to trust me with a choice of route? I don't know any. Okay. I've got a, there's a, a place where, actually, I started with your Claire, which was a very long, straight road. It's quite fast moving. This, when the traffic that comes past is going past quite quick, but it is very wide which is kind of ideal because it's a very long straight. Or there's another place that's quite close by, but what that would mean is we would, you know, as we got to each end, we'd just swap seats, I'd whip the car in and then we'd just come back up and down. Um, that one's closer. Do you have any particular preference? Well, we'll try the one that's closer and, yeah. and see how we get on. Um, the key thing in these early stages, I think, um, is if we can nail the skill down. Because what, what you tend to find is, um, when people are learning to drive, and I know that's the way it was done with me, I was just kind of thrown in at the deep end, and I felt a bit swamped. Uh, so if we if we really nail down this clutch control, this moving off and stopping skill, then everything's easy. Um, you know, learner drivers will tell you that they're scared of junctions. They're not stopping and starting, they're scared of. But if we can nail that skill down, not till I'm happy with it, but till you're happy with it, till you feel absolutely in control, then anything's possible. Um... Well, let's get a start. Okay. While I drive over there, um, you got the chance to you can, you can watch what I'm doing. Um, see if you can pick stuff up. I'll try not to drive with any bad yeah. habits in the beginning. Right. Right, so. <laughs> you make yourself comfy. You know how to put seatbelts on and such, don't you? <laughs> so obviously I'm running through me. Have you read up about the cockpit drilling? Have you had a chance to watch the video? Or is, I, was, I was thinking about that the other day because the, 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 the screen on your phone's a bit goosed, isn't it? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of cracked. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, basically what I'm doing is, is I'm getting, I'm making sure I can reach everything. Make sure the seatbelt's not twisted. Get the height adjusted. And that everything's set the way I want it to be. I'm not signalling here because there's nobody to signal to. If you want to ask me anything at all while we're driving over there, feel free. Why? Right, because that you know you haven't got enough room there with the door open, would you have to stop? Well, I know I've got enough room here as long as I go through slow enough that I can stop if that kitty runs out. Right. So that's the, kind of the right speed there. If I wasn't sure, I'd hold back and just wait. Because it's not possible to get in that much of a hurry. Because if you wanted to go like 30 miles per hour, it'd be like another door length. Yeah. You need to be sure it's safe to... I mean, what it's all about, really, is safety. Making sure that you're, you're going to stay alive. <laughs> and then what we'll do is we'll swap seats. So before you get out, any idea where you might check? Before I get out of the car, anyone come in inside me? Yeah. Make sure nobody's going to run into you. <laughs> run into the door as you open it. This side, of course, I'm checking to make sure there's no... 
no cars, no pedestrians crossing the road that are coming that way. So it's, it's just a case of just have a good look around. Mm -hmm. Swap seats. If you come around the back. Same as me. They're practicing their straight line reversing. Oh God. <laughs> so you're in. You don't need me to tell you how to adjust the seat, do you? No. Can you manage to do that? Mm -hmm. Get it so that you feel comfy. So you can reach everything. Oh, I can't sit right for that one. And you operate all the pedals so you can get them all down to the ground. Pedals. How does it feel? Have to go right down, Clutch. Yeah. Oh God. You need really to be able to get small. it right down, but also so you you still feel comfy. Yeah. Can you get your hands all around the steering wheel? Mhm. Mm you reach all of that. Splendid. So you've adjusted the bottom of the seat. We we'll also need to adjust the the head restraint. How does that feel? Straight. Okay. So it's it's in case somebody hits you from behind. You don't want your neck flexing. So does yeah. it feel? Looks okay. Does it feel all right? Yeah. When you push your head back against it, it, your head shouldn't either roll forward or swish back. It looks okay. Mm. Maybe hit that way now. How's that feel? Fine. So it is if you, if you do get hit, that your head hits it flat and doesn't flex, because that's where the damage gets done. Right. And obviously you know how to put a seatbelt on, don't you? Yeah. Do you know how to check if it's working? Yeah. There you go, job's a good one. Not twist at all. No. I'll give you a key. How do you lower it? Have a play with it. I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> you just push it up a tiny bit and then operate the button. There you go. Alright, okay. Get it so it feels comfy. Yeah, it's alright now. Job's a good one. Fine. So, can you see it all in your mirrors? No, not that one. Right. <laughs> Move it so that you can. Both sides, you can see down the side. Should be able to see a little bit of the car. And then clearly behind you. Yeah. Jobs are good. So, that's your in, you're comfy. I didn't mean to explain how to, how to do all of that. Um, let's have a look at some of the some of the controls. Do you know what they all are? Do you know what the pedals are? Clutch, mm -hmm. brake, side. Yeah. So do you know what they're for? It's to go. Yeah. To brake. Yeah. <laughs> it's to change gear. That's it. Do you know what the clutch actually does? No, not much about it. The engine makes the power, right. and the gearbox here puts the power through to the wheels. A different gear will give you a different level of power to the wheels. The clutch is the bit in the middle, so if it's if the clutch is down, there's no link between the engine and the gearbox. When you bring the clutch up, the joint. And then you change different so, speed. That's it. So to be able to change gear, you need to disconnect the engine, change the gear, then bring it back up. So obviously it needs to come up and down smoothly because if you bring it up quick, that's where you get the uh, 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 that kind of thing. We'll find out about yeah. that in a minute and have a bit of a play with it. Um, so you know what they are, you don't need me to tell you how to use them. The, the only piece of advice I would ever give is use them gently, squeeze and ease. Don't ever use anything in a hurry, unless it's an emergency. Do you know what these are? Yeah, brake. Yep. Gearbox. Okay. Um, do you know how to use that? Have you ever put one on before? If you stick your foot on the brake, brake. Yep, and let the handbrake off. And stick it back on. Just play with it a couple times. Is that it? What do you reckon? Yeah. Let go of the brake and see what happens. Yep, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so you should feel a gentle pressure. Right. You don't so want to I put don't it on. need to bring it up really far. No, that's I was so expecting that's, it to be right. That's fine. So you feel it. You can feel it slack a little bit at the bottom, and then right. you get a bit of pressure. Just up a little. Have a play with it. Get the feel of it. Be able to do it. Right. So gears, yep. what do you know about them? Just go in order. Okay. When you go up. Generally, yeah. Oh. Sometimes we miss them out, but normally you go up one, two, three, four, five. Uh, have you ridden a pushback before? Yeah. It's the same sort of thing, really. 
you wouldn't try and ride off in fifth gear on your push bike, would you? You'd no. do it in first. It's the same here. So the, the lower gear makes it easier to, to get the car moving. The higher gears is for higher speed, if you like. What we're always trying to do is match the, the, the gear to the speed we're doing. And the way we decide on that is the car will tell you. There'll be a feel that the, the car's saying to you, change up. Or, mm. or it'll be like, Bleh. you know, like <laughs> when I slowed the car all the way down, it was juddering. Yeah. That's telling you that it wants to go down again. Like it speaks, yeah. It does. <laughs> it actually does. And it, it's, well, you'll, you'll hear it, but you'll also feel it. Mm. But that's not something you can teach somebody. You, you learn feel by doing it. Um, it's no good me telling you the way that I would do it, because, well, that works for me. It might not work for you. So what we're hoping to do today is to find things that work for you. Um, find ways that the car speaks to you, because you might feel it in a different way. Some people see it, some people hear it, some people feel it. So we're not going to bother with the, the and what's called the ancillary controls, but we'll obviously do the main ones. Do you know what these ones are? Yeah, indicator that way. Yeah. Which way to go right? That way. Is it? To go left? Yeah. Easy peasy. Any idea what we are at this side? The wipers, won't it? It is. Yeah. With a bit of luck, we'll not need them, do you? Hopefully not. We'll come back to these more as we need them. The indicator is the main one. Your lights, any idea where they are? There. Now that's the one that alters it, but if you look down underneath the vent. Oh, right, yeah. So the first click is your side lights, second click is headlights. Oh, is it all down here? And then you put that on main beam by using that one. But again, we'll come back some, to that. Some the old cars are different, aren't they? They are. Yeah. So when you get a new car, or if you're driving a car for the first time, it's best to have a bit of a look. I mean, mm. I mean I'm not going to advise reading the manual, because I, I don't read manuals. <laughs> some people like to read the manual, some people like to just have a fiddle around. Mm, okay. Steering, well, you know what that does, don't you? Any idea where the horn is? Yeah. yeah. So what else is in there? Yeah, bag. Will that have an influence on how you hold the steering, do you think? Just like that all the time, mm. don't always cross it. Okay. Why wouldn't you cross it? Because you do it yourself at first. Could it, yeah. <laughs> Which is not, not helpful at all. Nope. It's bad enough if somebody else does it, but you don't want to break your own nose. No. Nope. Um, now, people get better. You don't fail your test for crossing your hands. Um, or, you know, doing the pull around that way. But it's, it's not good practice. Uh, so if we can get used to steering without that, but we'll come back to that in a bit. Is there anything else you want to ask me about? It's all the main stuff. Mm. We'll discover a lot more of it as we go along. Um, in the early stages, uh, we'll just share the responsibility between us. And if push comes to shove, I'll take responsibility for everything. Um, but as you get more and more experience, we'll pass more and more of, the, of that sort of stuff to you. So, for example, when we're doing our first move off and stop, and we're, we're going to talk about observation, but... I'll double check, make sure we're safe. So I'll keep you covered all the time. So, did I give you the key? Yeah, it's in it. Okay, so if you want to just turn it one click, that releases the steering lock. Another click and you'll see the lights will come on. Keep an eye on them. You'll see some of them will go out. That's the computer self-testing. So those lights come on to let you know they're working, and then they go off to tell you that the systems are all right. These ones should go off when the engine starts. Now, before we start the engine, any idea what we might need to do? Check everything. Uh, you could do, but handbrake in neutral. Because yeah, if you try and start it in yeah. gear, it'll jump forward. All right. So do you know how you know it's in neutral? Just if it goes side by side. There you go. So if you want to give the engine a start, just turn the key one click when it starts, just let go. And you see those lights have gone out now. So that tells you that everything's working okay there. Right. So if any of these lights come on when you're moving, it's telling you something. If it's an orange light, you've got to get it checked out pretty quick. If it's red, you should stop immediately, because that's a dangerous fault. You should still see a light on there. That's your brake system test. Now, it'll go off if I let go of the handbrake, or it should do. If it doesn't, there's a fault on the brakes. Right, so I should always do that before. Yeah, always just make sure. Um, there's lots of things that we can do. So that's, that's like a little running check, if you like. Same as like a cockpit drill, same as an airline pilot would do. You're checking that you've got all the systems that you need. One final check is if you move the steering at the minute, you'll find it's very light. Mm. That tells you that the power steering's working. Right. Another check you can do is you put your foot on the brake as you start the engine. In fact, I'll tell you what, if you turn the engine off, if you just press, press, place your foot on the brake and hold <laughs> it there, the pull the steering a little bit and then start the engine and notice what happens. Feel the steering go light, yeah. and did you feel the brake go? Mm. 
that's telling you that all the, the brake assist and the steering assist are working properly. Right. The only other check you might do is once you get the car moving, is to just give the brakes a squeeze and make sure they don't pull one side or another. I've already done that this morning, so we know the brakes are working okay, and I'll always do that check before I but for your own car. Does that all make sense? Right, you are. So, do you want to get, get a play with the accelerator pedal, get a feel of it? Make the engine rev different amounts? You know with this, what hmm? should you be on to set off? What do you reckon? I don't know, 10? I don't know. Make the engine make the sound you think it should make. Ooh, and then know. have a check. So that can be a guide, you can use your ears, you right, can use your eyes. between 10 and 20. Yeah. Alright, that'll work. Reckon? Well, should we try it and see when we're going to move off? Yeah. That's what we're all about, really, is trying stuff and seeing if it works for you. If it doesn't work, let's try something different. I'm going to try as much as I can not to tell you anything. Right. <laughs> and to have you find out for yourself. So, as it comes time to move off, tell me what you think you might do. Is it all? If you're going to move away now, what would, tell me what you're going to do. We'll check everything. Okay. Um, yeah. Put my accelerator down. No, put my clutch down mm -hmm. in one. Mm -hmm. Then put my accelerator down. Mm -hmm. And then slowly bring the clutch up while that's down. Go try that, see if it works. <laughs> Watch me stall it. <laughs> Nobody's watching. Right, after Just it, a no, I have, to bring, I have to bring this down. As well. Okay. Well, did, have a go Do at I that. Do I have to have my clutch down with that? And then that down while I'm going uh, well, I would make that the last thing you let go, because that's holding you safe. Right. So just before you get ready to go, do that. We normally take observations at that point as well. Yeah. Mirrors and blind spot, make, make absolutely certain. So that would be just before you move away. Right. So you've got a plan in mind. Let's execute that plan and see what happens. Okay, I'm scared now. Take a deep breath. I don't know if I'm going too much. Just have a go, see what happens. And then bring us to a stop. Once you've stopped, keep your feet still. Make the car safe. What Why did it? Because I brought that up. It is. Why did it jump though? I've brought it up too quick. Still in gear. Oh. So you bring the clutch oh. up and you try and go. <laughs> so how was that? Talk me through that. How was it? Alright, I just didn't I forgot about that. Was it how you expected it to be or not? Yeah. Okay. Because I knew I'd stall it. Okay. But that's alright. You know why that happened. Yeah. So if we're going to do that again, what would happen then, do you think? It'll be alright then. Okay. So, let me ask you. We'll have another go. Do you need help from me? No, sir. Crack on. <coughs> Is it even on? No. <laughs> oh dear me, what am I gonna do? Now then, just just before you start, right. you're not gonna be able to do this without making mistakes. We could do it in a way that you didn't make mistakes, but that would involve me talking you through everything and controlling it from this side. That's a technique that you can use if you want. Um, but have a, in percentage terms, um, what percentage of everything you, that you just did there did you get right, do you think? About 80 maybe. Is that a reasonable percentage, do you think, for a first batch? I don't know. Do you, think it's, do you think it's reasonable to expect to get it 100% rates right away? Yeah. So, we just live with the bits and pieces of mistakes as long as we learn from them. Yeah. Which we'll see if you have now. On you go when you're ready. Okay, okay. Check everything. Okay. It's falling apart. At the point you decide, bring the car to a stop. 
go on. How was that? Oh, awesome. <laughs> so, a couple of things to ask you. Who did all of that? Did I help you? Um, yeah, you told me. Yeah. Did I? Are you sure? No, I did it all myself. <laughs> I actually did. So, the one thing I was hoping for is that you're going to have the same level of clutch control the other brown girls did, and you have. <laughs> so that's great news, because that's going to that's going to stand you in good stead for everything that you do going forward. Um, so, how did that feel? It, it felt all right. You don't seem sure. It just um, just a few more times, and then I think I'll be able to. There you go. Like be more confident about stopping and starting. Do you want any help from me, or do you just want to stop and start a few times until you feel comfy? Yeah. Where do you go when you're ready? What? Well, I don't... We got, a, there's a, yeah, there's a long straight bit where we go just around the corner, <coughs> but this is a dead quiet road, there's nobody about. Let's okay, just then. start and stop several times, as many times as you want. Right. If you feel that you need extra help from me, shout out. Okay. Well, I'll cry. <laughs> Should I? We can stop just before though, it's just around about here, because we're, we're kind of out of the way because it's a very quiet road. Stopping on, parking on bends is a bad idea. So, don't forget the handbrake. Oh yeah. You can just leave the engine running if you want, because we're going to just do it several times. What's the difference here? How are you doing temperature wise? You feel warm enough, cool enough? Yeah, I'm really warm. Okay, well it's a couple of air on. Driver sets the temperature. Do you know how all of these work? Now that we're coming to use them? Um, that's like proper yep. going in it. That's flat. It is? It's so that's, that's the one you're after at the minute, isn't it? It's good. Obviously we're in a court. That one's the aircon. Now it's not very eco-friendly to use the aircon, but sometimes you need it. A situation like this where yeah. you know, you're generating heat. Does that feel okay? Or do you want it a bit colder? Get cold like Got that, innit? Not too loud. So, what's the difference here from where we pulled away before? Well, apart from the bend. Am I a bit too far out? No, that's fine. It's alright. It's the edge of the road. Right. Nice wide road. So, if we let the handbrake go here, we'll probably roll back a little bit on a little bit of a hill. What do you think you might do different about that? I don't know how to do a hill start around. Well, do you want to have a go and see how you do it? Do I need more revs, maybe? Mm, maybe. Maybe we'll just have a play with it and see how it works. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay then. If it's, if it's help you're looking for, you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> I'm already good. So the extra gas isn't making you go, is it? Because you've got to let that power through. So you might need a little bit more power, but you've just got to let a bit more through to the wheels. So that sets the power. That, that regulates how much gets through. There you go. How's that feel? Alright. I don't know. And then again, if we just pop around the corner, and we'll just stop. Again, you can see we're getting a little bit steeper the hill. Lovely white road. So how did that feel? Alright. It's a bit of experimentation going on. Do. But that's part of it. Because uh, the reality is that it's it's not me that's gonna teach you stuff. It's experiencing the things that you'll learn from. Because that's how it works. And, and in that way, 
we're going to get the learning out rather than me try to put it in. I could talk you through everything that I do, but I don't feel that's as, as useful or, or indeed as permanent as you discovering it for yourself. How does it feel when you're doing that? Doing it myself. Yeah. Good, because I can learn that. Like, okay. learn the, the thing to remember all the time is, of course, I've got your back here. Yeah. So if it does go wrong, I'll jump in. And I don't mean if it's going to stall. If it's going to stall, it's going to stall. We don't care about stalls. It's really here or there. Mm. Uh, but if there's anything dangerous going to happen, then I'll just I'll just pile in, and then we'll have a discussion about what happened. You know, it's, ne it's never going to be, you know, a discussion about why did you do that again. <laughs> it's just mm. like, all right, what can we learn from that? So based on the last one, what are we going to do this then? Anything different? Because it's see more, that? yeah, it's more like maybe. Bring the clutch, clutch up a bit more. Go try and see. Right, okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, again, if you want to. Go to a stop now. Pull him a little bit further up. Now we're getting a little bit steeper. Go on, put it where you think you should be. Well, let's have a look. Not far, is it? Not too bad. But you wouldn't park like this, you'd probably tuck it in a little bit more. Yeah. Look how wide the road is. Right. So, where we are here, if we let go of the handbrake, we're definitely rolling back. Mm. So, obviously, we need to get the what we call the bite on the clutch, the point where the car will stay still before you let the handbrake off. So, you want to try that? If you put the clutch down in the first, set the gas, bring the clutch up to where you think the bite is, you'll feel it. And then we'll test it by letting the handbrake on, see if we roll back or roll forward. So just to, just the clutch in? Try and put the gas as well. Right. So just will it go forward? Though? Well, let's find out. Well, if it does go forward, <laughs> put the clutch down a bit. If it rolls back, bring the clutch up a bit. So we're just going to balance it on the clutch. That. Well, if I let the handbrake go, let's see what happens. So we're moving forward, so take the clutch down a bit. A bit down. So you want to find that balancing point with the clutch. Oh, to make it stand yeah. still? Yes, sorry, I should have been that right. Oh, okay. right. Yeah. So once you've got it to stop, make it go forward, stop, forward, stop, forward, stop. <laughs> it will. Gravity will take effect eventually. There you go. Excellent. Oh, and stop. And you think you could make it go forward and stop next to that stone? <laughs> I can't do it. Of course you can. There you go. Try that again. So stop. I'll bring you to relax. Now we've put a bit of gas on there to help us go up the hill. You can, and this is an experiment, so don't worry if it doesn't work, you can do that with no gas on. If you if you really are, you know, have a fine, fine control with the clutch. Well, you wanna try it? With no gas on, mm. it'd go forward and then just clutch down. Uh, if you put your clutch down into first, when you bring it up to that bite point and let the handbrake go, you should be able to hold it still with no gas on. Should we try it? Yeah. Right, okay. Right. Shall I bring it up first and then try it? Put it the way you think it needs to be. And then let go of the handbrake and see what happens. So then just balance it on the clutch. Oh! Now we can use this for like really, really slow speed control. But it requires a real delicate feel on the clutch. So play around with it. So you can make the car do what you want it to do. Mm -hmm. Sorry, handbrake new. Okay. Now we start the engine. What happened there, do you think? I let go too quick. Okay. So you click save on that one. Try again. Mm -hmm.
Am I just keeping it still? Forward stop, forward stop, forward stop. So as you can see, the car's not complaining too much, is it? <coughs> if the hill was a bit steeper, you might need to put a bit of gas on. Mm. Well, this is a technique we use for just real snail's <coughs> pace manoeuvring, that kind of stuff. Oh, I've got to take a look off. <laughs> Let it roll back, stop, back, stop, back, stop. Oh, well, I'm coming. That's a lovely wide road. I'm steering, rubbish. I'm gonna have to. I haven't done any work in I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna. Oh, go on, that's fine. I'm gonna. Ch oh, God. Probably, you know. <laughs> 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 more air. How did that feel? Oh, fine. So the <laughs> get it up. Well, I'm gonna have to go week. out. <laughs> I did okay. this at work in the middle of serving someone. I'm oh, like, I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> That's fine. Remember next time. Oh no, I've left them all. Trust me to leave them everything at work. <laughs> mm. <coughs> I didn't want to chill while I'm driving. <laughs> That's, that's fine. <laughs> Completely fine. So how does that all feel? Are you, what, we're uh, choking or? <laughs> no, the clutch control bit. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know what so you've, you've got that, that level of delicate control, you can now make the car do what you want it to do. Hmm. So let's say, for example, you were stuck behind the car. You know, somebody, somebody parked either side of you when there was hardly any room. You can use that little absolutely crawling clutch technique to get you because it's the speed that you pull away is normally determined by how much clutch you let up. Obviously, you need more gas sometimes. Um, but it's it's really the, the clutch that's a determining factor. Would you like to try a couple of move offs, maybe moving off a bit quicker, and just do it by feel? Right, going to second. Yeah, uh, well, we probably haven't got room here, but just get the car to move a bit quicker. So that feels, and then I'll spin us around and we can try it with it. Yeah, we could have. Yeah. try that. Do you have an idea about how you might do that? You don't have to explain it to me, as long as you've got an idea how you're going to do it. Well, let's see. Well, let's see. I'm starting again. Well, you're right, trust yourself. You were bang on. There you go. You want to just bring it to a stop? Try that again. So how did that feel? So did it do what you wanted it to do? Yeah, it would just... We still need to get that balance. Oh yeah, well we're not doing that. But that's... Yeah. In terms of clutch control, that's that's bang on. You, you've got the technique where all you're going to do now is just assume that you've got it right and just do it. Do you want to try another one? Okay. A bit quicker? Try <laughs> So once you've come to a stop, make the car safe. That's it. And then have a look in your mirror. So if you then have a look again at the front, kind of start judging where you are. 
So we could, we could be a little bit further in, couldn't we? Yeah. So we can try it and just keep experimenting. But swap the seats, I'll spin the yeah. car around. <laughs> we'll have another bash. Oh. I'll leave the seat where you had it. <laughs> it's really well. How did that feel? Um, good. I guess. Just trying to. Right. Because I'm keep on either revving it to. Like I'm keep on revving it. Well, it's only a teeny bit, isn't it? If you ever think about it, it's not. It's not possible to get it perfect straight away. Spin us around and we'll, I was going to reverse into there, but we'll uh, come up here and do it. So that level of clutch control that you've just done there will help you if you watch I'm doing the same thing here. No gas on. I'm just controlling the speed on the clutch. I can bring it to a stop, I can make it go, I can stop, go, stop. So I can control it so that I've got time to do what I need to do. You can now do that too. And again, no gas on. Once the car goes, just pop the gas on and make us pick speed up. So you've now got that skill locked in. Yeah. Hurrah! Uh, I don't, I don't know. Hmm. That's just exactly what you've just done. I had to have somebody teach me it, you taught yourself it. Tell you what, how about we try it here? Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember, I've always got your back. This is really like a hill. <laughs> it's an exercise in self belief. Self belief. <laughs> oh, damn me. And the reason I've, I've brought this here is for it's a little bit more of a challenge, isn't it? A lot of a challenge. But it's because I feel very confident you're able to do it. What I'd like you to do is again just have a think about how you might deal with it. What is it that's different? It's a bit steeper hill. Mm. So think about what you might need to do different. And then what I'd like you to do is to just trust yourself and do it. I've got your back if it doesn't work. Right. That seemed like a reasonable plan. Yeah. Or would you rather have more help from me? Before I lift my arm brake down, I'll put my arm brake down. Should I make sure it's right okay. up before? I, I think I know what I'm doing. Okay, well I've got you covered. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then of course we get our first bash at steering when we get to the end. I've got mascara on my <laughs> It's a right corner, isn't it? Like a blind yeah. spot, so I would die. Do what you think you need to do. And then once we're around the corner, pull it around the left. Gonna take it up so. a second before we stop? Wanna try that? Have you? We'll take it up a second gear. Have a try second before we stop. Gear. Oh, okay. That's not second. Should I said that? That's not yeah. what I'm doing. And that brings us to a stop somewhere along here on the left. Thinking about what you were saying before, see so if we took it in a little bit more. And once you've stopped, make the car safe. And again, because we're stopping and not moving off again, you can just stop in the gear here. 
So tell me about that. How would that work? I feel start. Yeah, I felt it. So I thought it was all right. So it, it tells you, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you want to do with that now? <laughs> so pulling away from here, what's different? What? If we're moving away from the side of the road here, what's different to what we've done so far? Um, Could do, so you need maybe a bit more observation. Yeah. Anything about the lie of the land? We're down here, aren't we? Mm. What difference do you think that'll make? A bit quicker. Might do. Sometimes <clears throat> you don't need the lower gear. Sometimes you can get away with pulling away in second if it's steep enough. This one possibly isn't. Um, but it's like with your push bike, you know, once you've got a little bit of speed up, you go in the second. Because we're going to pick speed up quickly, sometimes you can start in second. But do you want to try it, see how it works? So in, Starting in second? Uh, well, not on this one, but the next time we pull away, it'll probably work. But in terms of observation, obviously you've identified the road here, where do you think you should look just before you pull away? I mean, I've been doing the observation up to this point. Around. Yeah. All around. Yeah. It's as the driver of the vehicle, um, you're responsible for the safety of you and everybody else. So it's best to be absolutely sure. All the way around. Yeah. Final checks just over your right shoulder. Then if we need a signal, we put one on. If we don't need one, we don't. So if there's nobody about, we don't bother. Yeah. When we're moving off and stopping, that is. Okay. Do you want to pull all up together and see how it feels? Yeah. I'll leave you when you're ready. There you go, good observation. Can we get back? They can. I'm out of charge. Which is nice. That's it. I, I can't, I still can't get off like turning it's, around that corner. I didn't know where to That was lovely. It's, I think the key thing, you know, is to just go with your gut feeling and trust yourself. If it's not going to go well, I'll jump in. Right. Uh, and I'll be in quick. So I'll always keep us safe, always. The only time you ever need to worry is if you're doing 30 mile an hour and you look across here and I've gone. Then you can worry. Outside of that, you're safe. So, on you go when you're ready. Adding the observations in this time. Should I stop near the bin? And then... How about the tree? The tree, okay. And then we'll move off again and stop in the bin so we'll get two in. Two for the price of one. Final check just before you move, it's just over your right shoulder. Yeah. See if you can get the bonnet exactly level with the tree. Oh, I don't so. <laughs> right, okay. There's no bonnet. Bit of guesswork involved in it because you can't see the end of it. It's just about right. So here, if you let the handbrake go, the car's going to roll. So yeah. because we don't need a lot of power to shift the car, we might get away with the way in second. Do you want to try it and see? Yeah, I don't get it. So you're going to have to put. So when we pull, you know, when we pulled away up the hill, we needed first gear because we needed lots of power. So oh. first gear provides more power. Oh, so oh second right. doesn't provide quite as much power, but it gives you a bit more speed. So because the speed's going to pick up a little quicker, we can maybe get away with a second. Do you want to try and see how it feels? Yeah. Again, Starting it's all second. about feel. A second, isn't it? That's it. That's it. <laughs> but I won't need... Should I, could I just let go of... Then we'll try and see what happens. Just... Trust yourself. Yeah, if you want to stop next to me. How did that work? Okay, so. I don't know. Like, I won't need. I won't need that real. Hardly any, yeah. if any at all, really, because it's there. I don't know if I turn and. But well, you've had to play around with it, and you've found yeah. out how it works if you do. Do you want to try it? So, uh, right, let's get out. Right. Yeah. Can 
Can I just use club? Go on then. And of course, once you're rolling, just squeeze the gas on and away you go. Easy peasy. Yeah. Want to try and change the third? No. Yeah, go on. And then bring us to a stop on the left. Good luck. You can just leave it in the gear in. Can you leave it in third? You can. As long as... Right. See, that would happen. I thought you have to bring it. So why, why do you think it's stalled? I brought that That's to it. you. That's yeah, yeah, okay, it. That's not the gear, is it? That's <laughs> fine. It's all right. It doesn't matter. These, these little things are all part of the learning process. Right. And when you're learning to drive, everybody's the same. You, th you go and think, ah, oh, I stalled. Doesn't matter. You oh, now know why we've done it, so you've locked that in now. Right. So, you know, you're learning how, if you like, how not to do that. But yeah, we can stay in third because we're not moving off again. If we were going to move off again, you'd select the gear you were going to move off in. How did that feel? Good. Mm. It's what it feels like from this side, and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong. It feels like you're starting to develop a real feel for what the car's telling you, mm. and you're reacting to it. Um, all you need to do now, the, the final step in perfecting that clutch control, is just believe that you're right. Assume you're right all the time now, because you've got the skill to be able to do it. What would you like to do with that now? With my clutch control. Mm. Do you feel confident about it? I do, I just need to, need to know more like... Um, like when you reverse, mm -hmm. you didn't need that at all. No. It did it. And when we first, it's the same at first, isn't it? Mm. So I won't really For that really it. slow speed manoeuvre, you can do that. Now you have to be careful because it's very easy, if there's no gas on, it's very easy to make the car stall. Right. But it requires that real feathery clutch control and not everybody's able to do it. Mm. And you can. So that's great news for you. Because <laughs> that's going to make your manoeuvres a piece of kick. Um, so what would you like to do with that now? Are you happy to leave that for another time? Maybe try some steering somewhere else? Yeah. Okay. Then we'll swap seats and I'll take us to where we can do that. Okay. Now obviously we're going we're gonna to come back to this over and over and over. Mm. Um, but the level of clutch control you've got, can you make the car move off uphill, downhill? Can you move it at a speed you want to move it at? Yeah. That's not bad for day one, is it? No. Let's swap seats. Yeah. We'll do some steering. Today. You'll have to figure me, I'm going to have to move the seat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, so before we swap seats, let's have a, we got your, your workbook. Yeah, it's, in there. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. There's a real mess, my bag. It's awful. It's like my work bag, so I'll take this out. Let me just grab my clipboard. So have you got a pen? I've got one here if you haven't got one. Yeah, I have got a pen. <laughs> If you want to turn at the targets page for moving off and stopping, lesson number one. The boat it's in the in the yellow bit. Okay. Topic targets. So that's our master progress chart. So we're looking at the targets now in this one. When you tick the targets off in that lesson, they get ticked off on this master progress chart as well. So we flip the page over. There's your targets for number one. What I'd like you to do is you read them and decide if you've done it. So getting ready to drive, you were able to show your driving instructor, you could read the number plate. Mm -hmm. The required distance, so we've got that one tick. Mm -hmm. uh, you just tick in the box, tick oh. this out, it doesn't really matter where. Okay. So you, it says, I feel confident in my ability. So, do you feel confident in your ability to enter and leave the car safely? Yeah, take them off, complete a cockpit drill to comfortably yeah. drive the car, switch the engine on and off safely, mm -hmm. move it off and stop it, find the biting point and move off smoothly. Yeah, okay, I think, yeah. Maintain a safe driving position, about a metre from the kerb, parallel to it. Did we do that, do you think? Yeah, mm -hmm. I stayed on it. You did. Pull up smoothly and accurately where you intended to stop, within half a metre of the kerb. Mm -hmm. OK. Move off, change up to second gear and pull up. Yeah. yeah. Take effective observations and make appropriate use of signals before moving off and stopping. Is that checking out? Isn't there checking yeah. the blind spot? Now we're marking it for the level we're at now. We're obviously going to come back to that because as we move on to more difficult situations, 
your observations and levels are going to have to go up because there's more to take account of. But do you feel happy with that? Comfortable with it? So, do you feel confident in your ability to take the precautions you need to before starting the engine? Is that like check everything's working? Yeah, I mean, what else do you do? And that. Yeah, and then handbrake neural. Yeah. Okay. It'll give you, at the end of these targets, quite often it'll give you a page to look to to tell you what they're looking for on the test. Now, it's not just about learning to pass the test, but it's a, it's a guide so you can see how you're going to be assessed at the end. Cause oh, it's that green thing. Isn't it, it is. So that'll give you the, the guide as to what you're going you're gonna to do. 169, I think it was, wasn't it? So there you go, where are we? Uh, Observation. Precaution before moving off. So mm. that tells you what the, how you're going to be marked. So if you've got to sit an assessment, it's useful to know what that assessment is going to be. Yeah. So what will be useful to do following today is to then do your reflective log. What did you like? What did you not like? What worked well? What didn't? Were you surprised mm. by anything in a good way or in a bad way? So in terms of your master progress chart, so you've ticked all of those one to ten. You tick one to ten across there. And that's lesson one done for now. Obviously we're always marking at the level we're at. We're not marking at this stage against the test standard because everything's going to get better as you do it more. Anything you want to ask me? Anything you want to find out? How does that feel? That's a lot of questions, isn't it? It's a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, what we've just done, mm. all that. Mm -hmm. Good. I like these because it, it's apart from anything else, it gives you a way of checking that you've done everything. But you get to take a lot of stuff up, off, and it, it shows you just exactly what you've done. Because otherwise, you go home and you think, you know, I think it was all right. And now you know. And then when that day comes where you say to me, "Am I ready for my test or not?" Well, we just look at that, and if all them boxes are ticked, then you are. As if I'm all that. Mm. That's the most easiest thing. Um, I'm not sure that's necessarily true. You know. That's the hardest one to master. That one normally takes the most work. I'll still have to go back to it though. More confidence in it. Well, only you can decide that. Mm. Um, what I can tell you, and I know I've already said it's not about what I think and stuff, but what I can tell you is that I'm more than happy with what's happened there. And I, I, that's going to stand us in real good stead. Um, I think what it possibly does mean is that we might need to ramp up our efforts on the theory and get it, get rid of it, otherwise you're going to end up ready for testing and waiting for theory. Yeah. Um, and that's awful, play. Yeah. <laughs> awful yeah. warm in here, is it? So the sun's come out, it's got ridiculously hot. So in terms of planning for what comes next, um, if, I'll just bother, if you look at the next lesson, which is steering, so you've got your targets there in the yellow bit, the red bit gives you the lesson plans, so we're going to move off. Okay. So it gives you an idea about what it's all about and some things that you might do to get used to, to being able to do that. So these are learning steps. They're not necessarily too windy in here, is it? So when you're looking at planning future lessons, have a look at these and think, well, is that something I might find useful? You might be able to come up with your own ideas about how you might practice what it is you want to, you want to develop. Because you've not had the chance to do that beforehand, um, are you happy to trust me on some things we can do? What I'm, what I'm, pl I didn't really have to wait for you to answer. Are you happy to do that? Yeah. <laughs> what I, what I tend to do here is we just drive down here and go beyond the white van and steer around it, come back up this little section between the bays, and just go around that way, then go through the bays, trying to stay in the lines, and then go around to the right. And then we'll come around and just do some figure of it. And that way we'll get used to steering. Start off in first, we might, might get enough speed up to go to second. And then just develop a feel for the steering the same way as we develop, develop the feel for the clutch. Yeah. Obviously in the, between here? Yeah, so you can see it's like a road in between the yeah. sets of parking bays, isn't it? So we can use that as a road layout. What we can also do, uh, once we get, get the feel of the steering, is then start coming to a stop, level at the end of the line, as though that was a junction. So we'd stop and then start off again, stop at the other end, start off again. Or we'll stop there, thinking. As though, the, you know, imagine oh, that was yeah. a road and this was a T junction. Yeah. So that, imagine it was a giveaway line and we'll, 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 come, we'll stop and start again. So we're reinforcing what we've already done. 
and then adding some new skills in. Okay. And then, to be honest, when you've got when you've got these two skills, that clutch control and the steering sorted, we'll do a, a session next time on, on using all the gears up and down, up and down, up and down, so that you can put the gear, the car in the right gear for the speed that you're doing, designed around the feel that you're getting from it. So I want you to just discover it, just by just playing around with it. And sometimes it'll work, sometimes it'll not. But at the end of it, you'll have a solid set where you know what you're doing all the time. Um, and we'll spend as much time on these basic skills as we need to until you feel 100% confident. And then we can tackle anything. Because anything you do after that is just a combination <coughs> of those, those first three laps. Everything here. If you look at these manoeuvres, you've got the clutch control in place now to be able to do them. So these, these skills here are so important. Does that make sense? Yeah. Or am I talking to me back saying? It was just like loads to take. <laughs> Sorry, Al. I get a bit carried away sometimes. I get, I get overly excited. Um, so we, you've got the chance, you know, when you come back, what would you like to work on next? How will you prepare if you've done any? Sometimes, it's, you know, you haven't had time. Sometimes you watch a video or talk to somebody about it. What do you want to get out of the lesson? In an ideal world, what would be the perfect end to that lesson for you? And then how do you might, you might go about it? You might want to start thinking about it. You might not know the so exact So this is route. what I want for my next lesson? Yeah. <coughs> right, okay. And then, so this is, so, that's your first one, isn't it? So that one I could just say what I've done today. On your review? Yeah. What have you done earlier? How did you feel? What was good? What was bad? What did you enjoy? What didn't you? Did anything surprise you in a good way, in a bad way? Mm -hmm. uh, and then the bottom bit here, assess your progress on a score of 1 or 10, where 1 is you're very disappointed in the progress you made, 10 is you think it's brilliant. Uh, and how did the lesson go? As did it go as you were expecting it? One is no, ten is yeah, exactly how I thought it would be. It went exactly how I planned. So you can, it's a little snapshot. So when you look back, you can think, all oh, right. Um, it's up to you what you're writing here and how you do it. But all it's designed to do this bit at the end is designed to help you decide what comes next. Sometimes it's mm, I want to do that again. I don't want to move to the next lesson. Um, and there's no no shame in that. There's no harm in, in you know doing the same lesson again if you didn't feel 100% confident because that's the one thing that's in short supply for a learner driver is confidence mm. comes quick though once you learn to trust yourself right. does that make sense? yeah just now. if it doesn't <laughs> give us a shout you've got your phone number okay. oh, pen, that's how I got it <coughs> so do you want to swap seats and have okay. a play with some steering okay. it makes that bit of a noise when the key's in Oh, it's Yeah, it's just letting you know that you've, you've got out and left the key in. Like, well, that's silly. <laughs> Can't believe I've got the scar around the ground. Could be worse. Could be blood. I don't mind blood as long as it's not mine. I'm not fond, but it's mine. So, obviously, a bit more things to take into consideration here. But again, I'll share the load with you. If there's people about, and I feel that you haven't seen them, I'll just let you know. We're not, we're not too bothered about that at the minute. We're developing the, the skills that we need to drive the car. I'm scared because I don't know, like, when we turn and I don't, I don't know what I don't know. Okay. What we can do, um, and tell me if this seems like a reasonable plan, I'll give you a bit of help as to where to steer to begin with. Steer in there, steer in there. And of course, I've, I've got you. If things go wrong, you, you're never going to be able to crash the car with me in it. Yeah. <laughs> this is not going to happen. Um, so I'll, I'll give you some help and guidance, stay around here, and just leave you to sort of develop on your own. If you want to change the level of help and support you're getting from me, just, just say. So is it enough for me just to say, steer between those lines, steer up here, steer up there, and see how it goes? I'm going straight on and then before the... Yeah, just after the van. After. Can you see where the gap in the base is? Yeah. We'll sort of steer in there and then come down this one. So we're just driving around the edge of this, this parking bay, really to begin with and then at some point we'll just pull up as though the white line was the edge of the road and have a chat how it's gone and then see where we go from there. That seemed like a plan? Yep. Onwards and upwards. Again it's all about development feel. I did move it forward. All nice and cozy. It's really bad. But all women drivers like this. <laughs> Do you know statistically it's proven women are better drivers. Really? Have less accidents. What does that tell you? Lads are real good drivers, aren't they? They know how to leave a thousand miles of rubber on the road. That impresses mm. you girls, doesn't it? 
The girls are always impressed by that sort of yeah. driving, aren't you? <laughs> you go when you're ready. <laughs> there. Safe drivers. Look at you Oh, I'm scared. Something I've got your back. I'm going right slow round here. Go on then. Start slowly and build up. It feels like ages, I do. There you go. So what we'll do is, you can see where the gap is between the two sets of beers. Let's just steer around there and then come up the other side with that line. Round here. I should have really stopped from that. No, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. How did that feel? I don't know. It's too big, this car. <laughs> <laughs> so again, we'll go to the end and go left. And like we'll go back pretend it's like a T-junction. Yeah, we'll so keep I... going this time, though, so if there's nobody oh, about, right. I'll, I'll give you a hand with that. Nobody about, so we can carry on. Let's get the feel of the steering first. That's good, well done. So see if you can get used to that shuffle. Oh action. yeah. <laughs> okay now. We're just developing technique at the minute. And it might seem like a stupid thing to say, but try not to think about it, just do it. How's that? That's fine. That's good. Follow it around again. I'll keep an eye out for people coming Am in. Am I going right speed? Yes, yeah, fine. Does it feel comfy? Like five miles per hour. It's <laughs> <laughs> alright, it's fast enough for now. How close do I have to be to the white line? That's fine, no wrong with that. Mm. <laughs> How's it feeling now? It's, it's looking a little bit more relaxed. Yeah. Well, see, I don't know if I'm like I'm pretending these are curbs. That's right? fine. Yeah, it's a good idea. And I don't want to hit the curb. Well, you haven't so far. Are you sure? Well, Can I'm you happy. see that side? Yeah, I know where we are. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Okay. Again, it's one of those things. Just, just, just stay with your eyes. Mm. I'll tell you if you get it wrong. Okay. No. You're kind of judging, like. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Just learning to judge it. Now, what we'll do is we'll go in between this curb and that silver car. We just cut through the bit. In here? Yep. Good oak. And then what we'll do is we'll go round to the right. Okay, nobody about. To the right? Yes, please. So I'll get used to doing a right hand loop. I can see your curb now. Yeah, I'm pulling out right fast. Uh, that's okay. And if we go past the silver car. We'll Do I have through. to go on this side of the road? Uh, no, that's fine, there's a rebound. We'll go through here. <laughs> yeah. And then go around right to the left. That would have been a perfect parking lot, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would too. <laughs> Which side am I meant to be on? This side. That's it, well done. Oh, okay. Good. I know this, I'm not that stupid, I just say right. it. <laughs> well, it, it's, very, it's quite often, you know, that things things get forgotten or you, you, you don't remember things clearly when you're working on something else. That's true. So, we're not worried about that, that's fine. What we're working on just now is steering. Going back? Yeah, please. And then again, this time when we go in, see if you can get yourself bang on in the middle of the base. In the middle? What? So we're going, we're going through that way, but see if you can put yourself between the lines again. Oh yeah, like I'm parking. Yes, sorry. So that, that, would been, that would have been a better way of describing it, wouldn't it? <laughs> How was that? Rubbish. Really? Did it start? No, we'll carry on. Which way? Go around that. <laughs> we're on this way now. <laughs> Do 
So it's really just if you just look where you want to go, mm. your, your subconscious brain will take care of the steering. Just like that. Uh, he's going the other way, so we're fine. Sorry. He should took himself over to the right, the, to our right. Uh, he's going in there. So okay. you, do you want to go round the white truck? Back up this way. One, two, climb. Uh, uh, and what we'll do is once we're on this new rod, we just want to pull up somewhere alongside the white line as though the white line was the curb. Yeah. And we'll have a little review. Yeah. There's nobody about, so we're not getting anybody's way. We'll just bring us gently to a stop. That's fine. Oh, That's fine. So, you, you got knew... me used to like it's a gold car. <laughs> you knew right. there was something though. You felt yeah. immediately, which is good. The fact right. that you didn't, you didn't quite catch it doesn't matter. Mm. You, you understood what was required. Break. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. But you, 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 you developed enough feel to know the car wanted something from you. Right. Okay. And that's that's all that matters. So, also, look how neat we are here. Right. Yeah. So you're, you're starting to trust that your eyes will do the steering. So how did the steering feel? Good. It's, yeah. It looks relaxed now. Yeah. Again, it's it's that that whole learning to trust yourself thing. Doing that, doing like not crossing me that. Oh, no, it's obviously easier, isn't it? Because mm. you've got the issues with the, the smack in the mm. face. There's nothing to stop you if you felt the need, if you didn't think this was getting the steering on quickly, to just do that. Uh, but just be aware that it's not, it's not really the best way of doing it because of the safety issues. But you do what you need to do. So, how does that feel? Good. Okay. Do you want to try it now? We'll add another layer of complexity if we just go around and when we get to the end we'll stop and start again as though it was a junction. Yeah. On it when you're ready. Okay. The level of support okay? Is it working okay for you? Do you need anything extra or less? Or? It's just I forgot it were in gear. Sorry, right. And I let, like, I don't know, is it because it were in gear why it started? Uh, no, it was because you just didn't quite get the clutch down quick enough. You went for it, but you just didn't quite catch it. Right. But that's fine. Okay. All that matters is you can reflect on what happened there mm. and that will help you to do it a different way next time. Am I so, near that? You're you bang on, you're absolutely... I tell you what, do you want to get out and have a look? No, well, You can fine. tell by the... If you look along the line, that white line runs to the curb. This is absolutely bang on. That's the distance you want to do. Right. I think when you're ready. Trust yourself, let your eyes do the steering. And then at the end, we'll pretend there's a giveaway line across or a stop line across, and we'll just stop and then start again. Okay, that might seem like a daft thing to say, but don't think about it, just do it. So. I can generally do a stop as though there was a stop right there. Do I need to That's put my it. Well down? That's it, well done. You do. Well done. Okay. <laughs> you stopped, you haven't stalled. Right. I always have to, have, I have to put that down when I'm stopping. Just before you stop. Right. Right, okay. So I start off. Whenever you're ready. Could that just set off because it's just... Because I'm going slow, could I just bring that up without putting no... Try it, see? That's a fantastic control. It's so for you. I mean, obviously, if it was a real junction, 
you're probably not going to come out of that slow. You get out there. No, it's, it's no. a good experiment. It's my first day. <laughs> <laughs> it's only my first day living out there. No. It's got awfully warm, isn't it? It is actually warm. It's warm outside. Ooh. Same drill, we'll stop and start again at the end, it's good practice. Okay. Am I too far back? Oh, that's lovely. The other car will give you a bit of a guide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Very nice. Obviously moved off a little quicker that time. She had a bit more power, brought the clutch up a bit more. Cool. Oh, speed speeding to my <laughs> Okay. I'm just practicing. You feel like a feel like a bit of a challenge? Yeah, that's what I would try to do. No, that's not. <laughs> see what, see what he's just done there. No. So we'll drive through that gap. That gap? Yeah, go through there and then come back out that way. Oh, why are you doing this? Because I know you can. I can do it. I'll find out. Yeah. Oh. Randy, Look at that. Yes, it's... How's that feel? Good. It's all right, mate. Getting good at this. Yeah. Can you tell? Mm -hmm. I'm getting speed, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it's as, as the confidence grows, isn't it? It's as you suddenly realise that, hey, hang on a minute, I can do this. Do you feel safe in the yeah. passenger? But well, do you see my feet hovering over the brake? Flatten the floor? <laughs> That's a good sign. If I'm like this, it's not. <laughs> And it's nice each time you've done it, you've pulled away at a different speed. Mm. But you haven't, it's not by accident, you've, it's deliberate things that you're doing, which is good. I'm trying to not get us too far away, because mm. I. Is everyone struggle with curb on the way? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's not just me. No. But in fairness, you're not struggling. Do you want to go up to the end and come back through that gap this time? big challenge right you've already realized that it's about speed slow car fast hands so that's good mm. this time we'll cut back through there well done and now off that way this time And then what we'll do is we'll pull up alongside the, the line on the left. Yeah. At a place that you determine. So if you can pick a spot and stop exactly where you want it to. How was that? I'm getting more better with everything. Yeah, now. it's just practice, I'm isn't it? Used to it? Now, they're the skills that you need for junction work. If you have a look at the targets for your steering one, I hope it was in the right place, wouldn't it? That's, that's my copy of the book. So, gears will... Idiot. Wrong lesson. Gears. <coughs> you apply full right and left lock in a safe, smooth, controlled manner? Yeah. Okay. Steer accurately... Re accurate. I can't even no. <laughs> Steer accurately <laughs> round curved and sharp corners, both to the left and the right. Steer accurately round bends, stationary objects, and through narrow gaps. Especially that one. It's fairly narrow, isn't it? Mm. Only just over the car's width. Ancillary controls. We'll come back to them in a minute. Um, but as far as steering's concerned, You've got the skills that you need. 
uh, you're able to stop and start at a point that you decide. So as part of the gears lesson, which we'll obviously look at next time, because that's the next, as well as these, have a look at the targets for it, have a look at the gears lesson. Uh, the place that I've talked about doing the, the lesson today, a very long straight road, that's probably a great place to do that because we can just rip back and forth, it's about two miles in a straight line. So we just go up and down the gearbox. But what we can add to it is um, stopping and starting at a point that you choose. So we'll just say stop next to that tree, stop next to that sign, stop next to that gap in the hedge. So we're getting used to stopping and starting the way that we would do at junctions. So that when we come to do junctions, well, you're just using all the skills you've already got. How did that feel? Good. All right. Not bad at all. So ancillary controls. Let's have a look, see how much we know about that. So to be able to tick this off, you need to ah, you need to know how to use the beam headlights. Do you know how that works? Show me how you would turn those on. It's all different, you know. Headlights. Yep, I want the dip beam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it? It's down here, isn't it? So the green light will come on to tell you the lights are on. If they're on main beam, right the way around. See the blue light there? Mm. It tells you the main beam. So do you know how to put the main beam headlights on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you know how to turn the fog lights on? It's all different. Have a look. Do we miss this car? Yeah, that's the thing. They're all different. There's generally a little sign. Can you see where? So that's your first light, then second that's one. That's headlights. You see, in the middle of the switch. Which one? Press, press both of them. Both? Yep. So the, the one at the top there, that's the front fog lights. Press the bottom one, you'll see the back fog lights come on. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Windscreen wipers and washers. So close that. Get the windscreen and wipe and a wash. Oh, right, okay. And then that way is usually for the back one. That's right. Awesome. Yeah, I Now with these ones, you tap it once for intermittent, two for on, three for fast. Okay. So if you just take it all the way back down, there you go. Oh, right. If you want it to just go once, you just press it down. Right, so you just once. To get it to go intermittent, pop it up one. And that do it like do slow. It every few seconds. And, and then another it. one is on first, and another one is on all, all, all speed ahead. Oh, and then just down it'll That's stop it. it. There you go. Oh, oh I get it now. Mm. <laughs> do you know how to use the, well, you know how to use the demisters, you explain it to me with horn. The horn? Show oh. me how you would do it. Do you, to do yeah, go on. Yay! Now everybody's looking. <laughs> no, do you know how to turn the hazard warning lights on? Show me how you do that. Uh, in That's it? it? Uh, yeah. Do you feel confident in your ability to mon monitor the, all the re all the gauges, the warning lights, and the other aids that come on? Uh, you know, when, uh, we, when we start the engine up, all those. Oh, all yeah, those yeah, what came up, yeah. So mark those in your own book, and then yeah. mark your master progress chart. Have a look at the gears lesson for next time. Um, so we'll do. It, it, I mean, does that seem like a logical step to take, take the next one, Gears? Combining the moving off and stopping and steering as well, of course. Mm. Um, but we'll also do it, you know, up and down through all the gears, so you can select any gear you want at any speed. You can match the speed of the car to the, the, gear, the gear that's required, or match the gear to the speed. And we'll do lots of stopping, off, stopping and starting. Then you've got a full set of skills that'll enable you to do whatever you want. And we'll just keep revisiting those skills until you feel 100% confident in your abilities. Then we'll put you out among traffic. Because you're not ready for it till then. I'm not ready. <laughs> um, that's good. Well done. Excellent. And if you ever think about it, and during your review, just have a think about who taught you to do those things. Because it wasn't me, was it? <laughs> you switch the engine off, I'll swap your seats, and we'll take you to do some theory study. Yay. How did that feel? Good. Pleased to be started? Yeah. I know. Good stuff.